You're listening to the Idiots Catalog. Hello, everyone. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Idiots Catalog podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Leland Long. Whoa, I'm another one of your hosts, Charlie Dawson. And we're joined this week by our guest, Jack Finnegan. Jack. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, I'm here for back for round two. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, we recorded an episode already with Jack, and it just didn't record. So we lost all the audio. And we blame Jack. Yeah, we blame Jack. Sorry, um, I spilled all that milk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two full gallon jugs of milk. That's a lot of milk. And he insisted on bringing. Um, That's how milk. he gets his protein. Yeah. But it was a really fun episode that is just gone for forever. And uh, we're hoping we can recreate the magic. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Ten minutes in, it's like, let's just wrap. That's yeah. enough. I think we're good. Yeah, um, we got it. Oh, uh, we're also doing no socks. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, yeah. Happy summer. I'm I'm taking off my socks. No socks, baby. Do you feel free? Woo! I never do no socks. I, I feel free right now. I would yeah. do no socks all season long if I didn't live in a city where the ground was disease. The ground is disease. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, I would. I saw a guy at Penn Station today with the thinnest flip flops. No. No. Mm, right. No. And not not a uh, not a um. What's the correct term now? Houseless. Oh. Like, just like a guy. Just a guy. Just like Mm. a working man. Just the thinnest layer. It was like he wanted to touch the ground. Um, Yeah. So if you don't know, this is an inventions-based podcast. Mm -hmm. And I I like this train of thought. Yeah. Because sometimes we we have problems that we try and solve with an invention. Mm. So how can we invent something to give you the sockless feel? Mm. In a environment that is gross on the ground, Ooh. you could have sneakers where the sole is astroturf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so yeah. When you're walking around, it feels like grass. That's amazing. Okay. I had, funnily enough, I had flip flops like that one. Time. Did you really? They exist. <laughs> yeah, they exist. <laughs> where it was like grass. That's so that's, cool. That's so it, much fun. Three steps in, it is matted down, and then <laughs> like, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, and then it would just become the sweatiest grass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's but, ever um, existed. I uh, like. How about like a cellophane, like something you step into and it wraps your foot in like a cellophane, and so you can walk around uh, with like a thin layer of plastic on your feet, like those mm. the the things uh, people who murder people well wear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People who are really good at murder. The people who create cold cases <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. U.S. Yeah, with yeah. The, the pros. The pros. I was going to say, is your feet got a mafia hit against them? <laughs> like, put the bag around them and, and strangle them? Yeah, yeah. You, you know? just look like someone who's about to kill someone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it would be fun to go barefoot in, like, Times Square. Just it would. for the thrill of it. Oh, yeah. You know? Because I'll go barefoot, like... What, what do you think is the worst that would happen? Needle. A needle? Yeah, and what yeah. do I think the best thing that would happen? A needle. <laughs> okay, it just depends on what's inside the needle. Uh-huh. <laughs> a little bit of fentanyl residue? I mean, depending, it could be a great time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Step on a needle, get a little kick. Yeah, yeah. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a COVID. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Um, so, yeah, if... Uh, I mean, we already said it's an inventions-based podcast, and we usually start with the guests. So, Jack, do you have anything yeah, you'd me, like to share with us? Let me check out my notes here. He said, uh, he said he had some new ones from the last time we recorded the Lost episode. The I Lost do. episode. But feel free if you remember any old ones to do them, because I don't remember any inventions from that episode. I have an idea. Uh, a submarine that would let Taurus visit the wreck of the Titanic. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, and get this. It's yeah. simple. Like, it's one, like one easy. Control. One button. Nice. <laughs> what a topical joke to show people yeah, dude, just... when the other episode was... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I came... Like, this kind of goes off of what we were just talking about. I want cement... Or, yeah, cement that smells like fresh cut grass. Oh. Mm. Or, like, stone that smells like flowers. So, like, the whole city would smell like you're in the forest. Yeah, why don't we have that? I love that idea. You know what I mean? Like, you, like just give the city the smell and feel like you're in the woods. Yeah, because right now but it's you're hot not piss. It's just evaporating <laughs> pigeons yeah. is the smell. <laughs> and I don't like it at all. And then there's pigeon rain. It's a whole yeah. cycle. And, then and pigeon... you're just, it's already, like, New York's so bad in the summer that uh-huh. if you could just walk outside and go, it smells Nice. Yeah. That'd be such a little win. It is, really would be. Is it like water activated stones and That's concrete? That's a great idea, Leland. Yeah. Or it could even be like temperature activated. Mm. So like if it's above 80, 
you're in the woods. Yeah, it can yeah. be seasonal. Like above yeah. 80, you're in the woods. And in the winter, when it gets cold enough, it's pumpkin spice. Oh, that's so good. Oh, That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah, like the winter, it smells like pine needles. Oh, just, yeah. Dude, walking oh, outside and the whole city smells like pine needles. Oh, I just came. <laughs> there I just, you go. I just ejaculated. Did you really? Yeah. Dude, just let it dry. We'll be what good are... by the end of the episode. <laughs> what are other seasonal smells? Flowers for spring. Okay. Yeah, spring, I think of like flowers. Summer? Like ocean breeze. Okay, is yeah. It, yeah. A, I know it's a candle. Sand. I don't know if it's a smell. Sand <laughs> yeah. would be great. What does that smell like, Leland? Uh, <laughs> just real dusty. <laughs> real dusty. Real painful in the nose. Yeah. I don't Sand, know. otherwise known as blood in your nostrils. <laughs> or like the, the way, I mean, I guess this just happens sometimes. <laughs> the way it smells right after it rains. <laughs> and I was like, well, it does rain. It could be like rain activator. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm just worried. My one worry about this is that if it's going all the time, then uh, it's going to have the, like, Febreze on shit effect. Right. Or it's just like, okay, now this just smells like... <laughs> you, you sprayed Febreze on a pigeon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now this just smells like lavender. That's a good idea. And <laughs> someone's shoes. <laughs> or what if it was, like, one day... Or like one one day on one Sundays. One day, boys, get up! It's scent day. <laughs> it's scent day. Dad, can we go outside today? Yes, Dude, only because it's scent day. Fast forward like fifty years when the air is too polluted to breathe and shit. We'll have that. <laughs> we, we will have scent day. Have day. <laughs> we will have when we're living in bubbles. Scent day is going to be real. It's the well, day you can take your nose bubble off for one day. <laughs> <laughs> take off your full scuba gear that you wear to school. The armed guards on the street corners let you get away with it. <laughs> yeah, they're cool with they're it cool at that point. It. And all the drones just go away. They don't look at you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think in winter, the smell of winter, there's a smell to cold. Like, Absolutely. You guys know what I mean? There's a, there's yeah. a crisp mm. smell. Very, I almost went like metallic. Yeah. Like when it's real cold, you know? Mm, yeah. Like that is pretty nice. Can we do like black ice for when you're in a neighbor, like a wealthy neighborhood? Like a, the smell of black ice? Yeah, you know like um, the car fresheners, the air fresheners? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What, is that black ice? I think so. There could be that in like when you're in like Chelsea or like. Wait, the smell oh. of air fresheners or the smell of black ice? No, like, yeah, like car. Like you're talking about the black tree that dangles yes. from the rear view window, oh, right? Yeah, like I thought BMWs. you were talking about the thing that's like on the sidewalk. That's what mm. I thought it was too slippery. And I was like, when did Charlie <laughs> bend over and take a sniff of black ice? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just was, was wearing trackless shoes. And <laughs> I was getting just, beat up at the time. I was, <laughs> I was at a low point. He just Physically keeps... and emotionally. <laughs> he keeps slipping on ice and he's like if only there was a way I could tell ahead of time <laughs> maybe if I can train myself to smell it out <laughs> have you guys been dealing with invisible ice recently <laughs> just like you mean black ice I have a tough time doing things yeah dude it's hard look, out there look, look at my stand up no um, your stand up's great no I'm saying that's that's what I talk about in it Oh, yeah, that's a good Let point. Let me run some jokes by you guys. Sharon, <laughs> what's the concept of this podcast now? <laughs> I got an invention. My mom's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Mike Birbiglia's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah, got an invention, Charlie? Yeah, I got an invention. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> I do, Leland. What do I do with it? Stuff that thing in a little tube and put a fuse in it and then... <laughs> Light it off on the <laughs> midnight at the third of July. What do you got? <laughs> All right, so I got a. I have a tattoo. This is real. I have a tattoo. I got it around when we did a mushroom. So, so. Oh really? Yeah. I don't like the tattoo, and it's really expensive <laughs> to get it removed. But you know what's not that expensive is another tattoo. Mm. Everyone always says that to me. They go get a cover up. Right. Get a, but I don't know what I get because I hate this one. I liked it at the time, but I hate it now. I don't know what I get as a cover up. So my invention is the skin tattoo. So a, a tattoo that just looks like my skin and they Ooh. go over my current tattoo. I would I would get that. Yeah, like a square of beige or whatever. Not even a square, like just color? it's just the lines, just like yeah, but like beige. Yeah. Cuz like my boss, oh, she she gets lip tattoos to make her like swear to god, she gets tattoos yeah. on her lip to make it look like more voluptuous, yeah. which is a word I love. And <laughs> Which is a word I just learned. <laughs> it's a word that sounds exactly like the word. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. voluptuous. Voluptuous. Fits itself. Like somehow. what if someone told you it meant like metallic? You'd be like, no. No, yeah, that's not at all. It's disgusting. So, so skin tattoo. And so yeah. like so Nazis Nazis okay. you know, who can't like 
tattoo removals are expensive. Some people used to be Nazis. They're not. This sounds like I have a Nazi tattoo. Yeah, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, let's see Charlie Lamb on this plane. <laughs> if I can get it in the Hudson, I'll be happy. Yeah. Um, I love my Nazi tattoo, but you know what I love more? My skin color. <laughs> Can I get that over my Nazi tattoo? You know who I'm trying to help with this? Nazis. <laughs> Nazis. Well, there's a lot of ex-Nazis in the world. People who were Nazis and then they woke up. Right. And they realized mm. that you don't have to be a Nazi so much all right, the time. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so, but they might not be, what a mess. They might not be, <laughs> what a nightmare. What a funny way to end your career. <laughs> <laughs> what a hilarious way to do that. <laughs> that these not these ex Nazis might not be able to afford uh, tattoo removals because I'm not I'm not a Nazi and I can't afford a, a right. tattoo removal. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> you're in the lucrative business of not being a Nazi. <laughs> uh, my not being a Nazi work is pro bono, actually. <laughs> No need to pay me for it. But let me tell you, the second those funds run out, right back to Nazi. <laughs> yeah, <I'm>, it's freelance. <laughs> so skin skin tattoo is the invention. I, I, like I, like I like that. I like that a lot. Just everything around it yeah. is tough. Yeah. Is, what happens to a tattoo when you get sunburned? It uh, you, does you all you the become, skin. You become a resident of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you, you move to Tampa is what happens. Yeah. But I'm just thinking if like if your tattoo if the skin around it gets sunburned, oh. will the tattoo reappear? No, oh. nothing happens to it when you get sunburned. It if, also if gets burnt. It, it, yeah, it fades a bit, but nothing like nothing extreme happens. But mm. are well, you were like if you cover up your tattoo right and then you get a sunburn everywhere else, do you now just have a square of? The, oh no! It, know, it gets sunburned. It also too. gets sunburned. Yeah, because okay. what happens is skin grows over ink, and then okay. that skin okay, gets okay, sunburned. Okay. Like okay. you don't get sunburned deep. <laughs> okay. Such a poetic line. <laughs> I guess that would be stupid. <laughs> I've never seen someone <laughs> yeah. with that. Yeah. <laughs> Like you see mon- someone with a red tattoo. You're yeah. like, you were at the beach today. Yeah, growing up in Jersey, I didn't see like a non-sunburned cross just on. It's <laughs> yeah. just glowing. <laughs> <laughs> they found Christ, but they could not find a sunblock. But they could not find a sunblock whatsoever. Hey man, hey man, skin, skin grows over ink. You know? yeah, and that's what we learned today. <laughs> We've learned a lot today. We learned skin grows over ink. I do like that though. I don't know why they don't do that to just yeah. Come go tattoo. over everything. Those tattoo removals are so... I keep making this... I'm just trying to get those prices lowered. <laughs> tattoo removal. Yeah. They're so expensive. But tattoos do, aren't that expensive. Do they do those at the tattoo place? No. Nah, or is that like a doctor? Dermatologist. Thing? Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Otherwise known as a skin doctor. Hey. <laughs> that There's so no growth for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know I'm that. a skin doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I have a medical degree in skin. I, when I was 18, I thought, when I grow up, I want to work with skin. Yeah, I want to st- I want to touch your feet. I want to, I want to touch the skin on your feet specifically. I'm glad the magic is carried over to the second episode. Yeah, I'm glad we're killing it. I got, a, I got an invention. Yeah, do you? Blow it up as big as you can and hang it up in the Macy's Day Parade on 34th. Let me hear what you got. <laughs> this is... Uh... This is a wig gun. Hey. So it's for it's for when someone tells you to put your hands up or put your hands on your head. And they have you at gunpoint. And so you put your hands on your head. Little do they know you're you're holding the trigger for your wig gun. <laughs> and you can just shoot them. Okay. I think that's awesome. <laughs> and it makes like the, the hair on the wig fly up every time you shoot. <laughs> just a little poop. <laughs> yeah, just a little poop. <laughs> a little poop guy. I love that. You can get like an automatic one, so it's like boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, you're walking home at night, you're a little nervous, just put on your wig gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you'll have it. How do you fire the wig? Oh, it's you yeah. literally because your hands are behind your head. The trigger is like on right. your head. <laughs> you come up to someone and they're like Get on the ground, and you're like, no, 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 what if I put my hands on the back of my head? <laughs> they, like, don't ask you what you need. <laughs> yeah, they're like, give me all your money. But first, don't you want me to put my hands on my head? <laughs> I marked you as a target from your beehive haircut. <laughs> I'm also picturing you with, like, a giant, just, like, red wig. Like, doesn't even match you at all. <laughs> like, like, it's not even close to looking like you. I love to, uh, to imagine you at work and you forget to take it off and you just go to stretch. <laughs> you just kill Janice. Just kill- <laughs> Janice, I'm so 
sorry. It was my wig gun. <laughs> this was for after work. I apologize, Jess. You're like, oh, now everyone knows my hair is thinning, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're most upset yeah. about. Janice is bleeding out. You're like checking yourself in the mirror. You're just running out with your hands over your head. <laughs> When you uh, when you get fired from the forest, do you have to turn in your <laughs> wig oh. gun and your ankle hair gun? What the, what force are we talking about here? The, you think the barber shop, the, the police force with too much funding. That yeah. one, <laughs> the one where they ran out of ideas. I'm an undercover cop. Yeah, you have one of those old school pompadour wigs on. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a 70s cop. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were an undercover judge. <laughs> You're driving a 1975 Dodge Charger <laughs> with no lights on top. <laughs> yeah, the wig's like the, the wig's like the George Washington hair. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. There's a large musket poking out of it. <laughs> it's just very it's obvious. Yeah, it's so obvious. I also like the idea that every time it fires, a little puff of smoke comes out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that, a, honestly, this would be great to turn back the time and use for duels back in those days. Oh, it'd be fantastic. You, know, you take ten paces. Alexander Hamilton would still be with us today. <laughs> <laughs> he had a wig, a wig gun. gun. <laughs> I like, that's so funny. Who invented Leland? the wig gun? Oh, the oldest man in the world, Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> you know the guy who's still alive? <laughs> the guy who's slain everyone who ever stepped to him? The Grim Reaper has come to him many times, and he's been slain many times by his wig gun. <laughs> wig gun is so funny. Can there be a bald oh. version where it's just a gun? It's a bald it's cap. It's a bald cap with a gun. But it shoots <laughs> through the bald cap. Yeah, it's so like so you just see a hole in some guy's head and a gut like fucking like he's an android a little hair a little natural hair is poking out of the hole yeah. that'll That's teach you a beautiful blonde yeah. oh it's coming out of the hole yeah. that'll teach you for trying to mug me near do well and then every time you fire your head is like fucking yeah, the kickback <laughs> How'd you break your neck? I got mugged. Oh, the muggers did it? No, 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 I got away. <laughs> no, oh, oh, no, they're dead as hell. Dead. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Can I say favorite invention? Can I say one of my favorite inventions? Is this one of your favorites? One of my favorites. The wig yeah, gun? Love that the wig one, gun. I really like the wig gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that really brought me so much joy. Yeah, and maybe, maybe too, if, it's, if the hair is long enough, it could be attached to like a trigger. So you don't mm. even have to have your hands no. on the back of your head. You can just have it <laughs> with multiple guns. Yeah. <laughs> just one, just like, on the at side. this point, it's just a gun. Yeah, it's just a gun. It's, it's just, just a gun. Yeah, but it's unassuming because people just think you have a weird haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I and really they, like the idea that the wig gun is never looks natural. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that it is just the pompadour. Imagine you get an Instagram ad for wig gun and then uh -huh. you go outside and everyone with a weird haircut, you're like, I'm fucking watching you, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I see your little your little thing I don't have anything <laughs> it is my second and 14th is, amendment is, rights to have a wig <laughs> and a gun put together could there be a wig grenade where it's like it's the pin oh, is pulled so many things it's ready to oh, go yeah. and when you click it it just drops you gotta sprint you gotta sprint buddy <laughs> but do you do you take off the whole wig I'm like, thinking no you... it just drops from your hair oh that's pretty yeah right and you just gotta run away I like the idea that it's attached to the wig so when you throw it whoever you're attacking is like what yeah. and then it <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking you take it off and then grab some strands of hair and just like whip it <laughs> at him. Oh, oh <laughs> like a fucking... <laughs> one of these guys? Yeah. Check, do the motion. <laughs> <laughs> just in time for the new Indiana Jones <laughs> hair, hair grenade. Hair grenade. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, just delivered uh, Ukraine a series of hair grenades. <laughs> See a bunch of soldiers in, like, in a trench that are all looking like 80s yeah. pop stars, <laughs> metal singers with big haircuts. Uh, you know, Zelensky can't grow his hair out. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan, are you a big fan of Kiss or something? <laughs> <laughs> the Jerry Curls. <laughs> oh, I love Wiggles. People 
was so much. And they start doing a uh, wig uh, body armor, like wig bulletproof vest. And it's just like large <laughs> Simpson hair to, oh. <laughs> to block. <laughs> what you got up there? An armory. I got a whole armory. Dude, yeah. the Mar- if you have the March Simpson hair, back away from that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a dog. <laughs> that guy that's an angel of death. <laughs> For sure has a wig gun. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it, Leland. Good job, buddy. Good, Good job, job, Leland. 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 Jack, you got another one? Yeah. Let me see what we got here. Um. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> oh, a little. I want a little like Roomba thing. In my head, it's like a little spider that puts on your bed sheet, like the hard one. Oh my god! Like the what? Like the one that you have to stretch and then you never get it right. Oh and it. yeah! I want a little guy. That just like does it. That's and it's like awesome. legs extend to yeah. the edges. In my that would be good. In my head, it was a little tiny spider that like carries it. Imagine how sad that would be to watch it though, and have it carry. If it's as small as I'm thinking, it yeah. takes a long time it's to carry take a while. it. You can go make a sandwich to the edge <laughs> dinner, <laughs> and then you, sleep. you see it get there, and then the other side undoes, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> <laughs> the robot struggles as much as you do. <laughs> It gives up, it hires a robot to do it for him. It's like, I, it also can't tell which way's long ways. <laughs> the company's called the Sisyphus Spider. That is <laughs> constantly doing a task it can't complete. Just, you just see the spider start sweating. <laughs> see, ten minutes later, it's having a cigarette on your curb. It just can't handle the stress. <laughs> Hey, dude, let it go through all of it. As yeah. long as I don't have to do yeah. it, it'd be That's cute. Great. <laughs> That'd be really cool. I, I love that idea. I, I also like what picture. What I pictured is something on your wall around your bed, like a perimeter, uh-huh. and so you just like attach a sheet to it, click a button, and it like, like wraps it around mm-hmm. in like one motion. That'd be beautiful, right? Just yeah. a quick, quick just and easy, nice, almost like a vacuum seal of your mattress. Exactly. That'd yeah, be yeah. so nice. It'd be so cool. I had one time on here. I had talked about a zipper sheet that you like zipper to the bed Ooh, so it's you? like the bed and the sheet each have a zipper attachment and then you like zipper them together all the way around oh yeah oh i like that a lot wouldn't yeah, that be cool? cool that would be so cool but there's no robots no robots no now robots I'm, unless I'm you mad. get a little spider robot to do the zipper <laughs> <laughs> the zippers are the robots of the past at one point zippers really impressed people yeah, that's no. a good point imagine when zippers impressed people they did they were invented at the chicago world's fair <gasps> i know that whoa i, re- I weirdly know that because i read a book about a serial killer h.h H. holmes yeah, yeah. Devil, H. In H. Holmes. devil in the white city whoa. and it was there that they debuted the zipper Wow. Holy and cow. people looked at it like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Blew people's minds. Dude, what a simple life. What yeah. a, I always think if I lived back then, I'd be a genius. But then I look at how many resources I don't utilize today. And I'm like, I would have no. been the same guy. Yeah. I'd be shoveling shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just would no way see in the summer. I'd be the yeah. same guy. I mean, yeah, there's no sun lo- tan lotion. Yeah. I could die. <laughs> yeah, my tattoo is glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's just trying to scrape off his tattoo. <laughs> I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. Not... <laughs> They're like, what is that? <laughs> Charlie, you got another invention? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Put that thing one from that long list. <laughs> it's episode 92, Jack. All right, I'm doing my best. Uh, why don't you? Long list. <laughs> why don't you get a nice little sectioned off cafeteria tray? And then splat that invention in the middle of it so it goes into all little sections. What do you got? <laughs> you guys are so good at those. <laughs> you guys are so fucking good at those. The first uh, 30 were dog shit. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> It's like, uh, I've got feet. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Truly. It was like, ice that thing and make it cold. What do you got? Yeah. So this is, um, I get anxious when I'm eating food mm. because I'm like... I spent money on this, and in 12 hours, I'm going to have nothing to show for it. Yeah. It's going to keep me alive, technically, but mm-hmm. I'm, there's no... If I buy a mug, I have that mug until... Even if it breaks... Even if I throw it against a wall, I have those pieces of a mug. Whatever it is. But with food, I... <laughs> <laughs> I still own that mug. <laughs> it's in pieces, but I own it. I'm having a tough time getting to my inventions yeah. today. It's a lot of, like, even if everything fails... 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you go to Charlie's apartment, your feet just get cut to shit. <laughs> like, he doesn't clean anything up. I paid for this mug, yeah. damn it. <laughs> hey, don't take any of those pieces with you in your feet. I want all of them for my complete. There's just a piece that's it's like the number single and then the word dad, but there's nothing else. <laughs> Pound sign dad. Pound sign dad. <laughs> Hashtag dad. So it's I hate with food. There's nothing to. There's nothing to to keep. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like mm-hmm. I wasted money every time I eat. The only thing you get is poop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so my invention is recycle poop. Uh, recycle poop recycling. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. a machine that you poop into. <laughs> and it filters out the gross poop and the little remnants of food. <laughs> and it cleans the food and makes a little pound cake. Out Is this of one of those Japanese toilets? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I no. It's an American. I like so the idea is you when you poop and some of it does become poop. Yeah, there's some poop you can't. And then recycle. does the other poop just become the food you ate? Yeah, basically. Can so we like, get pretty cool? Like when you eat corn, your body can't digest corn. That's why it's used so right. much. That, so. There's a lot of wasted corn. Yeah, that but is there doesn't very have true. To be. This would help farmers everywhere. Shout out Tony Sikowski. Shout out Tony Sikowski. <laughs> <laughs> He's been begging for this. He's been begging. <laughs> tangent, tangent for the corn thing. I just realized all those times where you see like a full piece of corn in a poop. Did that person not chew their corn at all? Or are they just eating full? That's a great question. I don't chew a lot of my food. I would I would bet when you're eating like a mouthful of corn, you don't notice that you're missing some. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I would bet that's like kind of an unconscious thing that happens. Totally. Okay. Or, or it reform. There's a little chef in your stomach who's reforming <laughs> it. It's just like a little guy. A little guy. Gluing it back together. Yeah, I was going to say for this poop machine. Which is going to be so labor intensive, <laughs> going through your poop to find what can and can't be recycled. Can it have Jack's little bed making spider doing that job as well? <laughs> that does it. <laughs> that would be awesome. He's like, he's That's so his... stressed. He's like, he's just like my I got life. shit to go through. I got a bed to fix. <laughs> he's like I hate my job he's like wait till you see what comes next <laughs> it's a new guy it's his first day it's a new guy he's like damn these beds suck it's like the, after lunch we're gonna have a real problem <laughs> this guy this guy Mexican for lunch is gonna be a nightmare oh, man. there's so much wasted food in poop so what is it it makes it into a pound cake yeah you know like a fruit <laughs> I gotta say that sounds so <laughs> <laughs> unappealing it's not yeah it's not gonna be good but you save money i and mean the machine to... itself costs twenty five thousand. i was picturing like a cliff bar oh yeah like a cli- okay. like a shit cliff bar <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes like corn was that white chocolate no it's my feces <laughs> no i just have no, very bad bowels yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's everything that my stomach stomach couldn't use the first time around <laughs> it's also how i'm realizing now how could it use it the second time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think it would use everything it needed. Yeah, because isn't the idea of shit is that it's the waste that your body doesn't use? Yeah. <laughs> so just a very unnutritious <laughs> cliff bar of shit. <laughs> We're about to go to the beach, kids. Take your poops. <laughs> Take your poop sacks. Take your poops. <laughs> Take your shit bars. Take your shit bars. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, they'll fill you up and make you tired. Yeah. <laughs> you spend more energy eating them than you get from eating them. <laughs> Nothing from them. So that's uh, why I mentioned. What's another way that you could get something from food? I, mean, um, I don't know because it is a waste, right? Like I had a big meal today, and I have nothing to show for it. <laughs> I got That's nothing. So funny. <laughs> to be like, I spent all this money on this food, and now nobody knows about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like at least with a note, like I got a notebook a year ago. <laughs> it cost nine ninety nine, and I still have the notebook. And there's thoughts in there. Right. And probably some cool drawings of dogs. Okay. And that was only $10. Yeah. How much was your lunch today? 
Well, I didn't. I didn't pay for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so basically, the concern is someone else paid for my lunch, and now I have nothing to show for it. Yes. <laughs> I want to remember this absolute score. <laughs> this was a great day. I'm going to be thinking about this until the day I die. <laughs> Hand it down to your grandchildren. <laughs> your shit from October 2023. <laughs> it's July. I don't know why I pulled out October. It's, it's a month now. It's not like it's not a month now. I don't acknowledge this month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my political stance. Yeah, because a real anti-patriot. <laughs> yeah, like... that's, I'm so liberal, I don't even count the month of July. <laughs> it's like the 13th floor, how elevators skip it. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's how I handle July. <laughs> Trying to do anything with you in July is a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare, because I'm just like, it's August. Yeah, I can meet up on June 48th. <laughs> you mean August negative 10th? Yeah. June 48th. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, right. oh, you got an invention? I thought it was Leland. Oh, Leland. I, got, I, I got another one. Yeah. Wait, you, Leland, do you have an invention? I do have an invention. Put that thing in a glass jar, ferment it for me, sell it at a farmer's market. What you got, buddy? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> I think it's stuff. Uh, so this is a dating app. Okay. Which measures the size of genitalia and pairs you with somebody compatible to your wow. size. Wow. Yep. I'm way into that. Same. <laughs> right Same. That's, that's a great Same. idea. So whatever you're looking for. If Charlie's you're... sweating over here. <laughs> Finally, a solution to all I my li- problems. I like that a lot. And it puts you with, like, the perfect sexually compatible side. Wow. What if, if you're, like, look, if you have a penis and you're looking for a vagina or you're looking for a butthole. Yeah. You right. know. Because some people don't fit. Yeah. Some people simply don't fit. So this isn't just like being like uh, like inches. Like you're doing like a 3D model to match in that way? I think so. For most pleasure. Yeah. For optimization of pleasure. So if yeah. you have a weird bump on your dick, but they have, have a weird, weird indent. <laughs> <laughs> and they swallowed a marble growing up. Yeah. <laughs> Can't digest those, baby. Those are a dream for the poop recycle machine. <laughs> knows exactly what to do with them. I think that's pretty fucking genius, actually. Yeah, the same, man. I had that thought the other day. I was walking down the street, and I saw a couple, and I was like, there's no way. There's, yeah, I do that. There's no way. fucking way <laughs> that, that any of that works out. Do you think it would be like, do you have to take your own measurements and... and... I no, think so. Because yeah. every guy would say they're 38 inches, and every woman would be like, but I'm not using this app. That's why I... That's, <laughs> <laughs> Every guy would just upload a picture of an anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> but Here's that's my why, penis. I, sir, that is a seven forty-seven. <laughs> that's <laughs> impressed. That is Air Force One, sir. Yeah, that's the Challenger disaster. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is? But I like. What if you put your dick though in like a? Because don't they do that with like dildos? Don't they like? Don't like porn stars make molds of their dick and sell them as dildos? Yeah. Ooh. So like, do something like that, and then the not like actually make a mold. But if you could in any way get a three D measurement of your penis. Yeah, I think we'd have to have people go out with these kits to oh. hold you accountable. I like the idea of someone really official with a clipboard. Yeah, <laughs> it just shows up to graph your dick. Could it be the spider? Be the <laughs> just like this is the worst of my three jobs somehow it's, it's getting worse <laughs> he's covered in linen and shit he's trying to measure a dick I cannot tell you how much I want five o'clock to roll around <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's just he's just with some guy that can't get it up and he's like he's like I'm sorry it's never happened the spider's like come on can you hurry this up my god <laughs> Taps his one spider leg on the wrist of his other spider leg. I got a bed to get back to. I'm working a double. I'm working a double. Oh, oh man. man. That's awesome, man. Yeah, definitely somewhat like a service that comes around and takes a... Because if you had to send you it, it that. would be Because if you do have to send like a person to do it, then just make it like people who really want this will pay for it. Yeah. So if it's like a paying app that yeah. like makes a guy come and graph whatever you want to get graphed, yeah, there are people that will pay for that for sure. Yeah. Mm. Now, what if in the graphing process the guy busts? 
<laughs> what if you put that on your profile? <laughs> yeah, that's enough. That's a kink. Is graphing <laughs> the, the dick on the profile just looks like a normal dick, and then some weird <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a hard decline. Yeah, there's just some weird shit going on. After 38 seconds, it gets way smaller. Yeah, it gets way tiny. Shakes, and then it gets way smaller. <laughs> that's so <funny>. so gross. <laughs> Thank you, listeners. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, dating app. With genitals. That's great, man. I like that a lot. Uh, Jack, do you got another one? Sure. I think so. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Um... Oh, I want a VR... Okay, this is... Well, which one do I want to do? There's two of them. First of all, well, I really want sand that's cold. Yeah. All the mm. time. Mm-hmm. So, like, when you're on the beach, it's never hot sand. Yeah. Okay. It's always the most cooling of sands. Oh, that'd be great. And maybe if there's even, like, a little aloe vera in there. Mm. Oh, you know mm. what I mean? So, mm-hmm. when you're walking on the sand, you're just like, hmm, I'm feeling good. And I feel like we could either, I think we could genetic, I feel like we, that this is good. We could engineer sand so that it's cold. Or you could maybe spray something over it that gives you cancer, but we don't find out about that till later. So, we just have fun in the moment. <laughs> With the cold sand. There's so much to unpack here. There's a lot I going love on. Jack on vacation. Mm, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Just on a beach. Mm. Well, you know that long walk to your, like, when you're going to put your chair in and you're just like, hop potato, hop oh, yeah, potato, dude, hop, hop potato. Like, I want to I ixnay that from the process. Mm. Okay, how about this? We go down to the Earth's core, which is made of molten. <laughs> Easy. Step one. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. We got our... <laughs> Shouldn't be more than a few hours. We'll send the spider. <laughs> <laughs> it's one, it's one tiny little guy. <laughs> So stressed. So chain smoking. <laughs> Eight cigarettes. <laughs> and he's like, I do all these jobs and I still have four roommates. <laughs> That's New York for you. He's a New York spider. <laughs> he's got a little Yankee. <laughs> this, this city ain't the same, I'll tell you. So we go down to the Earth's core, which is made of molten. Yeah. Suck all that out, shoot it in space. Yeah. Okay. Replace it with ice. Okay. Um, done. <laughs> Ruin every environment. <laughs> Ruin every environment. <laughs> Not only destroy the Earth, but destroy wherever that ball of magma is heading. <laughs> we'll send it to Mars. They can use it. They can't get their shit together. <laughs> yeah, Mars. Let me tell you. But when I think Mars, I think disorganized. <laughs> Yeah, someone, someone just needs to send some planners and filing cabinets yeah. to Mars. <laughs> oh, my God, um, that's so funny. I do like the idea, though, of the uh, sand. I like the aloe vera aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because then even if you're, like, sunburned and your tattoos are glowing, yeah. you can lay face down on the yeah. sand and yeah. just fully be healed. I would also love just get rid of sand. <laughs> like, let's have mm. a better texture at the beach. Like, that doesn't Asphalt. get everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just like some parking lot, <laughs> <laughs> uneven ground. Kids, it's new asphalt. Build a castle. Quick, build a castle. Quick, build, build, a castle. build a castle. Build a castle. Build a castle. <laughs> Build a permanent castle. Build a permanent castle. <laughs> and some guy's jogging and just breaks his ankle on this castle that was built. And then just one confused seal. <laughs> Someone snuck stuck in an angel position. They're doing a sand angel. They're completely they're fried and yeah, stuck. You would get rid of being buried in the sand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more of a mob. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a skeleton peeking out at you from the sand. <laughs> Let's sit by Tony. Uh, <laughs> but he ratted. You can't rat. You get, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? But maybe, I get what you're saying, though. Some different kind of material. Just anything. Maybe like wood chips. You know how they would replace sand? Uh, wood, wood, wood chips. Dude, <laughs> ow. Wood chips might be rough. <laughs> Come on, Leland. <laughs> That's what they did with playgrounds, and did they not do that? Yeah. They did that with Arizona. And it sucked. What if it was like, ah, there's no way to do this, but like if it was ice cream that didn't melt, <laughs> like oh. that kind of texture would uh, feel good, I feel mm. like, at the beach. That, that would be... Maybe just foam. I don't know. Well, okay, Real well, disgusting this... after people walking it for, for a, <laughs> for a, for a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be... that'd, that'd become uh, moose tracks real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rocky road we're talking about. Hey. Hey. Sand 
is tiny rocks, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so we take the glaciers and we break them all. <laughs> Why do all your solutions involve destroying the Earth ecosystem? <laughs> it's had it too good for too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't we start by burning down the Amazon rainforest <laughs> so, so that it's bright enough to see what we're doing. <laughs> That's just to light the project. That's just to start <laughs> off. So we, so then we, we'll send the moon out of its orbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, then, and then, I don't know, like icicles on the sand yeah. or something? Then let's replace all the oceans with sand and the sand with oceans. There we go. <laughs> well, I was thinking we break up all the, what are they called? Glaciers. Mm -hmm. Let them float into the ocean until they're tiny little um, sand sized mm. pieces of ice. And then collect them. <laughs> and put well, them all together. Maybe they drift onto shore so we don't have to. Oh, do they that. do it naturally. Yeah, yeah. so we don't need to go pick up sand sized pieces of ice in the ocean. <laughs> Is it? Is it? <laughs> Which will also send the spider to do. <laughs> is it? Uh, is it one for one? Is it like one giant glacier equals one tiny piece yes. of sand? There's gonna be four pieces of sand total <laughs> on this new beach. So if you're very, if you're if you're at the tiniest beach in the world, yeah. you're gonna have a great time. Hey, great beach for a stressed out spider. Let me tell you. <laughs> you have to give you a spider. Who <laughs> just needs to escape the nine to five? <laughs> this beach is perfect for you. <laughs> First, you have to build it, but it'll be perfect for you. I love it, man. <laughs> oh, you got shit. any more, Charlie? Yeah, it's not great though. Do you have any, Leland? I got another one. Yeah, I got a couple. It's empty. It's blank now, baby. It's blank now. <laughs> Um, hey, get that, uh, <laughs> hey, give that family, a uh, family, hey, give that invention a fucking family coupon to an amusement park. Let them ride the Hulk and <laughs> bond. What do you got, Leland? So this one's real simple. Mm -hmm. It's just automatic rocking chair. Great. Whoa. So Great. it's a rocking chair that you sit in and you don't have to it's rock beautiful. it yourself. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the worst part about Wait, a rocking chair. That's actually to fantastic. Me. Yeah. You, you still really got to use your legs to like rock yourself back right. and forth. What happens if it turns sentinel? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you throw up. <laughs> yeah, you just get real sick. It doesn't. It doesn't have any ability other than rocking you a couple inches back and forth. It's really cool, Elon. I like that a lot. Yeah. Right. And I've, you could do different settings as to like how you want to be rocked. Yeah. yeah. You can do a cigar rock or a tea rock. Oh so my we'll god! Wait, I'm actually dreaming about that now. Oh that yeah, you so can. Nice. You mm -hmm. can like hook it up to a song to like rock you. Whoa. Yeah. To the beat of the song. You could set it up to Hurricane to uh, rock me like a hurricane, and it could rock you to that um, yeah. mm -hmm. lyric. Just don't set it up to, like, techno. <laughs> and then it's just, like, <laughs> do, 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 just flying up and down. <laughs> and what happened to Granddad? <laughs> the techno wave got him. <laughs> Avicii at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to Granddad. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool oh, invention. That'd be lovely. Dude. If I would have known how... If I would have known what it was, I would have done mine. What was yours? Um, why? Why do you say that? Was it a shitty invention? No, it was good. It just like it's just simple. Yeah, it's, but mine's simple too. But we're co-hosts, so we love each other no matter what I just said. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a genuinely great idea. Yeah. A nice is. little, just a nice little rock. Where because you're right, when you're doing this, your calves get so tired. What about wig gun? Yourself. Did you think that was a genuine <laughs> wig gun? Idea. I really like. Well, wig gun brought me the most joy. <laughs> <laughs> wig gun made my day. <laughs> the rocking chair could only potentially make my day. Um, I love the idea of you walking around the East Village after like a, a shift uh, at work and just staring. And that everyone with weird hair. And be like, I don't yeah. fucking trust you. They're like, Jack, what? Yeah. What is going on? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Jack, uh, <laughs> do you have any more? I got one more. Yeah, let's do that, and then we're uh, we're about okay. good to wrap up. Um, this might happen one day, but I want a VR experience that is just a full ass trip to the moon. Oh, mm. so like you're an astronaut in a VR experience, and you have to, and it's like. Everything's photorealistic, and you just do a moon mission. Okay. 
Can there be drama that you have to deal Absolutely. with on the shuttle? You could have caddy. You could have caddy crewmates. Yeah. You know, like with sass. Was, yes. And maybe one of them betrays you at one point. Oh. There's like, and you may you have to kill him or something. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Uh, th- yeah. <laughs> this, is, this was the real point, and they're all <laughs> murder VR murder murder VR. But I think that'd be really. I don't know. I would do it. I'm and like the, a space geek, but and they're all also in VR themselves. Yeah. So someone gets killed from some Dude, drama, that, like, and they're the like, three I'm of sorry. Us could all have headsets on, and we have to run a spaceship to the moon. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be really and fun. it's a real spaceship in real life? Not in real I I was thinking a video game, but maybe that would be cool. Is yeah. this are you freaking out right now at our wallpaper? Yeah, dude, that that would a, be it. Is this good for you? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, dude, I am hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick invention. Yeah. Like a super realistic mm. How long does a trip to the moon take? A few hours? Uh I think it's three days. <laughs> Hours. Was it like a flight to California? I, I don't know. <laughs> that think was, a that's... flight to California is a few hours. I'll be honest. When I thought about this idea, that was my one snag. I'm like, well, it would be a three day long experience. But yeah. maybe you could just skip, like, do the important parts. No, I thought yeah. I don't think so. I think you immerse yourself three yeah. days and you three eat days. astronaut days, food. You eat yeah. astronaut food. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be really because then when you actually land on the moon, you'd feel like you'd feel the accomplishment of it. You'd feel oh, the yeah. accomplishment. You also have to come back, and then you have to come back. And Ooh. if you die on your way back, you get imprisoned for life. Yeah, yeah. for and life. Then you have to sit with VR in prison. Yeah, <laughs> until you <laughs> die. A long time. Yeah, you could have like a fucked up Apollo thirteen situation. Yeah, you have to fix stuff like that. You could say a weird racist thing, and then your co-pilot shun you for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might happen. Right? Like, you have a Nazi tattoo you couldn't cover up in time. <laughs> you accidentally fart, and then they're really upset with you because yeah. there's no air. There's no way to the air it out. The most minuscule drama. Just you the break, tiny... You break the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, All right. Well, Jack, thanks again for coming Dude, the second course. time. Of course. I think we had a really fun time. Thank um, you. There's one more segment. You know what it is. Oh, right. I have to compliment you guys. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got to give each of us a compliment. Yeah, I get one in return. I get one back. Mm-mm. Okay. For Leland, you make a mean glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it can't be apartment-based. <laughs> oh, that was apartment-based, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. Leland, you have very, like, kind eyes. Damn it, that's good. When I look into your eyes, like, I feel very... I'm just comforted. Hmm. There's no, like, I... Maybe growing up in a steroid field New Jersey hole, I'm used to looking into a man's eyes and feeling nothing but fear. <laughs> and when I look into your eyes, I think tonight's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, that's what I think of that. Yes. And Charlie, <laughs> your riffs about how to take that invention and shove it into a whatever the fuck uh-huh. you do those very Leland, you do too. You both do. But Please that's keep the it on for Charlie. Please keep it just to me. Oh, just to you. <laughs> okay. I like that you're good with vertical lines meeting horizontal lines. That masterfulness of combining lines and patterns, I think, is really good. I might fuck that up, but it, it, some people would say it clashes, but you make it work. <laughs> We said no backhand. Yeah, that wasn't backhanded at all. <laughs> that would wasn't... say it clashed. <laughs> that, that was not backhanded. I genuinely think it's a good taste. <laughs> Some people say you shouldn't wear that color. <laughs> they're wrong. They're, they're wrong. They're not correct. <laughs> Some people would say that you deserve to die and burn in hell, but <laughs> yes. they are incorrect. <laughs> but they're slightly off. <laughs> All right, Jack. Uh, folks, Jack, dude, we're going to keep the segment me. over. Thank you so much yeah, for being yeah. on. You're the best. Uh, you can find me at at Finnegan Comedy on Instagram. Nice. That's pretty much it. And <laughs> I'm at Leland Comedy on all the social medias. Hey, you pieces of shit. Follow me on Instagram at Charlie V. Dawson. While you're at it, follow me on TikTok at Charlie V. Dawson. <laughs> follow the Idiots Catalog on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at... Idiot's Catalog, uh, follow our, subscribe to our YouTube page, Idiot's Catalog, we post a video a week after we post the audio, it's a great time, go check out our YouTube series, Beautiful Faces, hey, hey, send us a freaking email, you idiot, I yeah. love you, <laughs> at the Idiot's Catalog at gmail.com, send us your invention ideas, send us your problems, send us a compliment, Guess what, you Looney Tune? You're not getting one in return. Yeah, you Looney Tune. And Leland, what the hell do we say 
to end, to end every, every episode. episode. Can, can we smell, smell it? it. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we smell, smell it? it? Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks for listening.